So let's look at plastic deformation. And what what exact what is plastic deformation? I mean, we we had for elastic deformation that the sample dimensions returned to normal upon unloading. So we could say that the sample dimensions you know, do not return to normal or return, sorry, um, to original upon unloading. And that's not bad um, upon unloading. So sample dimensions do not return to original. In fact, we could do the same thing we did for elastic deformation. And we could say, well, that has to mean that uh, at the atomic level, atoms, uh, you know, or molecules, if we're going to be broad here about plastic deformation, independent of the class of materials, so metal, ceramic, polymer, uh, molecules, um, move past one another, let's say, to new resting positions. Okay, and now, in fact, how that happens is a, is a, a, a bigger question. Uh, you know, what, we'll cover this later. If I, if I model atoms as little circles here in two dimensions, we're going to learn how this actually occurs, what the mechanism is for movement of these atoms if we apply a shear stress to it. And you'll see that actually what happens is these atoms, they slide past each other um, in, in the metal. Um, and that's how, how it occurs. But um, we don't really need to worry about it too much just yet. Plastic deformation is going to involve somehow atoms moving to new positions. And what we could continue on with here is then what the, um, the stress-strain behavior would, uh, would look like. Before we wrap up plastic deformation, though, let's uh, let's just explore one aspect of this that I think is potentially a little um, confusing sometimes, and that's that plastic seems to refer to a material class. And I, I like to break the world down into um, metals, into metals, ceramics, and polymers, and so. You know, you, the common, the lay public term for, uh, the lay term for, for polymers is plastic. And, and you might think, well, plastic then has to only refer to um, polymers. But of course, that's not, that's not true. Polymers are often called plastic because they are often plastic themselves. But plastic is referring to, in fact, the the type of deformation not the material itself so in fact plastic and this is a, you get a little language lesson here derives from the the greek plastikos plastikos which means roughly to uh, to shape or uh, sculpt Right, but with the implication that it, it's done permanently, you know, you permanently change uh, shape. In fact, and this is probably a more generally exciting or interesting topic, but plastic surgery, right? Plastic surgery is not called plastic surgery because you're implanting polymers. Although sometimes surgeons do, in fact, that's quite important. Uh, whether it's for reconstructive purposes or, or cosmetic, there are pla polymers that are implanted, but it's called plastic surgery because you're changing anatomical features, right? Right. Again, it could be uh, cosmetic, it could be reconstructive or cosmetic. They were changing some features permanently. So that's the, the usage of plastic here. And that's the usage of plastic in plastic deformation as well. It's a permanent change in shape.